Embedded C and Embedded Systems Interview Question and Answer Part 2. If you want to follow us in Instagram, Learn Automotive, you can just follow us and Facebook page School of Automotive and Embedded Systems. And uh, if you're interested to have a technical discussion and uh, the interview kind of stuff, that you can uh, join the in our WhatsApp group. And uh, yes, you can visit our site edusor.company for tutorials in order. Finally, if you are not subscribed, you can subscribe and uh, share to your friends too. What is pointer? So it's one of the common question. It's not only in embedded C, uh, even in C or C++ or Java. So pointer is, yes, it's a basic stuff that you have to understand any programming language. So in a simple words, pointer is just an address. Say for example, if, if someone asks about you, where is your home? So you'll tell the address. The same way, pointer is uh, address that you you will tell your address so that is a pointer it's it will point something not something it will point exactly the variable what exactly it's asking for it is derived data type that stores the memory address a pointer can also be used to refer another pointer that is called pointer to pointer so for example say for example if your how if your house address is uh, in a particular state so the you you want to you know specify the country also so that is kind of pointer so address to the address all right so for example if um, um say if some some something some some institute is there and uh, opposed to the institute there is some other um, you know some gym or uh, some indoor stadium is there so the for the particular uh, you know for the particular address it resembles another address that is a pointer to pointer then a pointer can be incremented or decremented to point to next or previous memory location that is one of the main significance of the pointer that is it can it can able to increment as well as decrement to the previous memory location the second question is what is null pointer a null pointer is to is used to indicate that the pointer doesn't point to a valid location ideally we should use initialize pointer as a null if you don't know their value at the time of declaration so later you can retrieve it also we should make a pointer null when memory pointed by its d allocated in the middle of a program so these are all the stuff that you have to remember that uh, you know comes under the null pointer so when null pointer can be initialized so everything so you can answer this what is a dangling pointer dangling pointer is a pointer that doesn't point to a valid memory location so dangling pointer or array is when an object is deleted or deallocated it's more or less kind of null pointer but uh, see you have a difference is it's without modifying the value of the pointer hence the pointer still holds a memory that is in the memory location that has been deallocated memory what is white pointer in C programming, a white point is also called as generic pointer. It does not have any standard data type. A white point is created by using the keyword called void. It can be used to store an address of any variable. You might be aware of white pointer, you might use the white pointer, but this is what exact significance of the white pointer. What is wild pointer? A pointer is said to be a wild pointer if it is not being initialized by anything so there is nothing has been initialized this not just a pointer has been uh, declared but there is no initialization done these types of pointers are not efficient because they may point to some unknown memory that is a garbage memory location which may cause problem in our program and it may lead to crashing the program so you have all you should you should not have the wild pointer the name just to have a wild pointer is you have to check whether the all the pointer has been uh, addressed to some variable or not if not then that is called a uh, wild pointer that you have to figure it out and you have to remove it one should always be careful while working with wild pointers so if you like this video and if you are if you want if you wish to continue this tutorial like uh, you know per video four or five interview question and answers relate to embedded c yes you hit a like and leave a comment you can share to your friends and subscribe if you're not subscribed and uh, follow us yes uh, the description has been given for the respective links catch you in the next tutorial until then bye